بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب يسر ولا توسر ودمي بالخير So inshallah we continue lesson number seven exercise four we completed three exercises yesterday so inshallah we continue from the fourth one okay so any questions regarding lesson number seven okay so if not so can you ask some questions uh, what is the pattern of adverb of place that we have learned so far in this lesson adverb of place which is dharfu makanin what is that pattern it starts with meme and meme has fatha so do you remember that pattern Maf'alin. Maf'alun. Maf'alun, Maf'alun. Right? Yeah, because it's a noun, so I believe it's better to uh, go with the complete ending so that we are sure that uh, what we are talking about. So maf'alun. So what are the adverbs of place that we discussed yesterday? Do you remember? Okay, the one that we have in the book, which one is that? Mal'ab. Mal'abun, excellent. Mal'abun means playground. And uh, from uh, Kharaja, we learned that from Kharaja it is Makhrajun, okay. And for Dahaba, it is Madhabun. And Dakhala, it is Madhalun. Okay, the place to enter. So we know Dakhala means, Madhal means where we can enter, and Makhraj is where we can exit. We can come out. Okay, excellent. And what about the uh, noun of instrument, ismul ala. We have learned one pattern of noun of instrument. Mif'alatun is miknasatun. Miknasatun. That means kabroon. Mirwahatun, miknasatun. Yes, excellent. Okay. Do you remember the verb that starts with wow? What do we call it? For example, wajada, wada'a. Wajada. Mithal. Mithal, excellent. All right. So, uh, and what about the colors? Which pattern do we have the colors on? Like the colors come on what pattern? Af'alu. 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 For example, Asfaru, Ahmaru, Abiyadu, Aswadu, right? So all the colors. Um, like basically in the books, they have the topic with the name of Alwanu, well, Ryubu. Yani the colors and the defects, the, the effects in the body. So all the colors, they will be on the pattern of Afalu. And similarly, um, the defects in the body, and they are also like, inshallah, we will learn about them. They also come on the pattern of Afalu as well. So they call them Alwan Wal Uyub, the colors and the defects of the body. Okay, number four. So who is going to read the text? First one. And number three, sir. Number three, we finished? Or we haven't? Not, not yet. Oh, not yet. Okay. But... Okay, so um, all right. So it's even better. So you have to, I think, answer by yourselves. Yes. You please read the text first, number three. Adib Anil As Elatil Atiati. هذه الأسألة هذه الأسألة ليست مبنية ليست مبنية على الدرس الصابعي. Excellent. So Ajib answer عن الأسئلة الآتية the following questions. So we can see here that uh, the preposition that comes with the verb Ajib is an. So Ajib an. So we have to also focus on the prepositions. So Anil asila tilati ati, hadhil asila tu. These questions. So hadhil asila tu. These questions. So this will be the subject, and the rest will be the predicate. Laisat mabniyatan ala dars sabi are not based on lesson number seven. So that means you have to answer from your own like activities that you did today or 
uh, some sometimes in the past. So mata kharajtum min al-fasli. When did you read? So let's based on the, the lesson that we did yesterday. So that was our class yesterday. So let's imagine that we were in the classroom yesterday. So mata kharajtum min al-fasli. Kharajna min al-fasli qabla salatil isha. Okay, qabla salatil isha. Excellent. So kharajna. So when I kharajna. ask you, I will say kharajtum. And when you answer, you will say kharajna. Excellent. Okay, Aina the Haptum Bada Darsi. So where did you go after the lesson? Zahabana Ilal Mastidi. Zahabana Ilal Mastidi. Okay, so we went to the Masjid. Masjid. Okay. Min Ayi Idaatin Sametumul Akbara. So from which radio station did you listen to the news? Samina. okay. Min. Min ida atil riyadi. Ida atil riyadi, because ida will be mudaf and al riyadi will be mudaf ali. Yes, Samina. Min ida atil riyadi, okay. So I would like you to read the text of number four, so that uh, yes. A kuratul qadami li aibidum am kuratus kuratus salati salati. Okay, there is a small mistake. La aibidum, la aibidum. We know that this is not number one and this is not number four, right? So. Basically, after that, we have to use fatha because laibdum is fail and file are over there. Okay. So whatever we see, uh, that will be maful uh, bihi. So akuratal qadami laibdum am kuratas salati. It's basically the question should be like this: like this, al laibdum. Ala ibtum kuratul kuratul qadami, so it will be so easy for you to answer, right? But we know that this that a and am basically what happens like a comes in the beginning the hamza and then we bring in the noun or the verb and then we bring in am and we bring out the next the same thing should be and what follows a should follow am. So as we can see here, kuratul qadami wa kuratul tasallati. So both of them are nouns. So a. Kurat al Qadami, so Kurat al Qadami because it is maf'ul bihi. Of la'ibdum. So the verb can sometimes come uh, after the, let's say, um, it, it, it might come after the maf'ul bihi as well. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so what did you play? La'ibna. La'ibna Kurat al Qadami. Kurat al Qadami. Kurat al Qadami, okay. yeah. So la'ibna, so this is not verb form number one and it's not number four. So that means we have to use fatha uh, on the object. So la'ibna kurat al-qadami. Kurat al-qadami. Clear? Yes. Okay, now number four. <laughs> yes. Anif. Anith al Faila fi kulli min al jumal al atiati. Excellent. Make of the file uh, as, feminine. as feminine, yeah. Make the file, feminine. make the, the subject feminine in every sentence uh, from the following sentences. Fi kullin in every. So kullin would be here. It's an individual used by itself. Fi kullin min al jumal al atiati from each of the sentences that follow. So if you look at the example here, for example, Asharibtum al qahwata ya ikhwanu, did you drink coffee, oh brothers? So we change the subject from masculine plural to feminine plural for the second person, for the mukhatab. So it will be Asharibtum al qahwata ya akhawatu, did you drink coffee, oh sisters? So we have to change the subject from masculine plural to feminine plural for the second person. The second person means the one that we are talking to, right? 
So who is the first person? The, the person speaking. First person who is speaking, right? For example, myself or ourselves as all of us together. So either it can be I or we. Ana wa nahnu. And the second person is the one that we are talking to right in front of us. Okay. So aqaratum. Okay, here aqaratum. Mean will be sakin or we will put dhamma over there? Sakin. Me will be sakin. Why? Ha has already uh, uh, fata. Yes, excellent. So when we connect it with al or hamzat al wasl, only then we have to put dhamma. So aqaratum hadhihil majallata ya rijalu. So did you read this magazine, O, o Men or O Gents or O Gentlemen? Yes. Hadhihil majalla ya nisa. Majalla tu. No. Majalla ta. Because qaratunna, we can see that uh, this is the subject and the verb is already there. So the verb and the doer are there. So the noun that follows it will be will be he. Hadhil majallata ya nisa'u. Okay, what is the Arab of hadhi? It can be mansub as well. It is also mansub as well, yeah, because yeah. So it's ishara and mushara and alayh. So it is also mansub, but because it is mabani, yani the ending doesn't change. So we cannot see the irab over here. So we will say that this is mahallan mansub. Yani it's in the place of the mansub. Excellent. Ya Okay, number three. Afahim to muddarsa al jadida ya abnai. So now we will say afahim to muddarsa. Mean will take dhamma, right? Why it will take dhamma? Because we are connecting it with al. So we have learned and we have discussed many times that when we connect meme sakin with al, then it is connected with dhamma. Ad-darsa al-jadida. So this is maful bihi ya abnai, O my sons. Okay. So for the feminine, what will we say? Afahim. Tunna. Afahim tunna ad-darsa al-jadida ya abnati. Ya abnati. Yes. Yes. Very good. Ya abnati. So, Afahim Tunna Adarsa Al Jadida, Ya Banati. Okay. Mata Khrashto Minal Madrasati, Ya Auladu. Oh, boys, when did you leave the school today? Or only school, yeah? When did you leave the school? Mata Khrashtunna Minal Madrasati, Ya Banatu. Ya Banatu. Excellent. Mata Khrashtunna Minal Madrasati, Ya Banatu. So, all oh, daughters or all oh, girls, when did you leave the school? Asmetumul Adana ya ikhwanu. Did you listen to the Adan, O oh, brothers? Asmetumna al Adanu ya akhwati. Akhwati. Yeah, you, okay, so again, one more time, please. Asmetumna al Adana. Excellent. Yeah, okay, very good. Araitumul Madarisa Al Jadida Ya Ikhwanu. Oh brothers, did you see the new teacher? Arai Araitunal Yes. Araitunal Mudarisa Al Jadida. Mudarisa Al Jadida. Akhawatu. Akhawatu. yeah. So Ikhwan, so the opposite of uh, Ikhwan will be Akhawat. Okay. Okay, so number five says, Amama kulla jumlatin fima yali sigatani lil fair. So in front of every sentence that follows, there are two forms of the verb the form. You remember we always talk about that there are 14 forms of the verb starting from dhahaba up to dhahabna. There are 14, right? So the, the verb, or sorry, the noun that is used or the word that is used for the forms is called sigatun. Sigatun, so it is sadia, ghain, and tamarbuta. 
Sigatun. And we know that when we make dual or mathanna, then we add ani. So it becomes Sigatani. For example, Sayaratun. Sayaratun. Sayaratani. Bintun. Bintani. Bintani. And Sigatun. Sigatani. So Siga means at the form. Okay. So, so yes. Sigat meaning. Sigat. Sigatun is basically the, the noun, and we add alif and noon for the feminine, so it becomes sigatani. For example, kalimatun, kalimatani. Sigatani. So ani basically is the sound of dual. Okay, so if I say there are like, there are 14 forms of the verb, so 14 forms or 14, 14 forms, how would you translate it in Arabic? Number 14, and then the word Sira. Arba. Arba. Ashrata. Ashrata. Sigatan. Yes. So we can we can say, yani lekulli fi'lin arba ashrata sigatan. Every fail or every verb has 14 forms. All right. As we can see here, lil fi'li. So li here means for, or it, it, it represents like belong to. So every verb has two uh, forms in front of every sentence. Ikhtar as-sighata sahihata wa akmil bihal jumlata. So you have to choose the correct form and then you have to complete the sentence. Ikhtar is a different form of the verb, whereas akmil is the same that we have discussed many times. Akmil, Adhil, Adif, Ajib. So that is a different one, right? So now what we have to do, we have to choose the correct choice from two of the choices that we have here. For example, Al Qur'ana Al Yoma Ya Abnai. Oh, my sons. So for sons, what will we say? Aqaratum or Aqaratunna? Aqaratunna. Abnai Abnai Karatum. My son. Abnai Santa. Yeah. So al Quran. So did you read the Quran today? Oh my sons. So Quratum. Okay. Mata min Makata Ya Ikhwani. Excellent. Mata Rajatum min Makata Ya Ikhwani. Oh, my brothers, when did you return from Makkah? Okay. Wajuha Kunna Bishabuni. Awasaltunna. Wajuha Kunna Bishabuni. Did you wash your faces by, by the soap? Okay. Min Ayi Idatin. Al Akbara ya Banati. Sameetunna ya Banati. Okay, so all my daughters or all my girls from which uh, radio station did you listen to the news? Okay, Min Ayi Babin. Al Masjida ya Ikhwani. The Khaltum. So how will we connect it? The Khaltumul Masjida. The Khaltumul Mastida, Ya Ikhwani. Lima and Nawafida, Ya Banati. Lima Fatahtunan Nawafida, Ya Banati. Why did you open the windows? Oh, my daughters. Okay, number six, please. Uh, someone, if you can read the text. تأمل تأمل الأمثلة ثم أدخل كان على الجمل الآتية. Okay. Uh, reflect on the examples and then enter كان in the following sentences. Okay. كان. What do you know about كان? Ah, uh, it means it was. It means was. Was. 
Okay, that's so, number one. Is it a sahi or ghair sahi verb? Naqis. Ghair sahi. Ghair sahi. No, it's not naqis. It's ajwaf. Ajwaf. Okay. The and sentence that... will be called, yani kana, the family of kana is called naqis. The whole family is called naqis. But kana in itself is ajwaf. Yes, it's ajwaf. Because oh, it has alif in between. Okay. In between. Basically, it has wow in between, and the wow has changed okay. to alif. So, kana alal jumalilatiyati. So, we have to enter kana to the following sentences. Al madarasu fil fasli. The teacher is in the classroom. Kana al madarasu fil fasli. Qabla khamsi daqaiqa. The teacher was in the classroom five minutes ago. So, the teacher was in the classroom because of kana. It has become was. Okay, now. What do you remember about inna? Ismu inna is always mansub. Inna allaha, right? Inna allaha, yes. ghafurun rahimun, ghafurun rahimun, right? Uh, similarly, kana also has the doer, it's called ismu kana, which is the noun that follows it. For example, al madarrisu. So the noun that comes after kana will be marfur. So the noun that comes after kana will be marfu. Kana al mudarrisu fil fasli qabla khamsi daqaiqa. The teacher was in the classrooms in the classroom five minutes ago. At tullabu fil malabi. The students are in the playground. Kana at tullabu fil malabi qabla nishfi saatin. The students were in the playground half an hour ago. So kana at tullabu. The reason why I'm saying that the ismu kana will be marfu because the khabaru kana changes, but we are not talking about it now. So as of now, what we need to focus on is the ism of kana will be always marfu. And the example, kana Allahu aliman hakima. Kana Allahu aliman hakima. Allah is all knowing, all wise. Allah is. Do you remember yesterday we discussed that when it is used with uh, the, the word Allah, then it is translated as Allah is. So that example, you can remember one example of inna. So we say inna Allah ghafuru rahim. Uh, we say kana Allahu uh, ghafuru rahima or kana Allahu aliman hakima. So you see that kana Allahu, the ism is marfur. So uh, what's the khabar in these sentences? Here, uh, basically what we have, jar majroor, they solve the problem, you know. Okay. So, always like uh, they become the khabar if there is nothing over there. So here either Jal Majroor or Garf and Madafile, the noun, they will be Ismu Khabarukana. But we are not talking about Khabarukana today, right? Okay. Only Ismu Kana so that we can get used to it and we know that the noun that follows Kana is always Marfur. Ummi fil Matbakhi. My mother is in the kitchen. Matbakh. What is it? The patron, do you remember now? Maf'al. Maf'al, okay. So that means the place where we cook. My lab, the place where we play. Excellent, matbakh. Kanat ummi fil matbakhi qabla qalilin. So my mother was in the kitchen a while ago. So for, of course, we know that for masculine, we use kana. And for feminine, we use kanat. All right, so al mudiru fi ghurfatihi. The manager is in his office, uh, in his room. So can you please use kana and complete the sentence? Kana mudiru fi ghurfatihi qabla yes. saatin. The manager was in his room uh, an hour ago. Al-Waziru fi Lundana or fi Lundana. Uh, kana al fi Yes, fi And you can see here the Sheikh Mashallah beautifully arranged these sentences. He has put over there verf and after that a noun so that we here we can get the idea that when kana, when we use kana with the noun, then there should be something after that that will complete the sentence. If I say Bilal was, so kana bilalun. If I say Bilal was, uh, does it make any sense? 
No. It's not clear. Like when I say Bilal was, so you have a doubt in your brain or you want to ask like, uh, he was like what? So we say we can say, he was here five minutes ago. So then the meaning becomes clear. But we can say, Kana Bilalun, Maridan Bilal was sick. So then the meaning becomes clear. Okay, Akhifi Makkata. My brother is in Makkah. Kana Akhifi Makkata, Obla Arbati Ayami. Okay, translation, please. My brother was in Makkah uh, four days ago. Okay. Al Mustashfa. The doctors are in the hospital. Jokana Atibau. Kanal Atibau. Kanal Tibau fi Kabla. Fil Mustashfa. Kabla. Kabla. Suluthi. Sati. Sati. Yeah, three. The doctors. The doctor was here. Atabau. Is it plural? Atibba. Yes, the plural of tabibun. Then the doctors were in the hospital. When? Sulusu. Saatim. Three of. No, no, no. Khabis bit ago. Thirty minutes ago. Uh, one third of an hour. One, one third, third of an hour. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes ago. Okay, can you tell me Saatin why it is Majroor Saatin? It's a number is. Uh, no. Okay, so Thuluthi is Majroor because of Qabla. But what about Saatin? Yes. Yeah. Look, when we translate it, we say one third of an hour, right? One third of an <inaudible> hour. So, yes, there's <inaudible> Yeah, so qabla thuluthi sa'atin. So whenever we use the uh, the word thuluth, then after that, the noun has to be mansub because it can be one third of maybe a day or it can be one third of an hour or whatever the timing that we are talking about because it will be translated as of the hour, half an hour, uh, sorry, one third of an hour. The students are in the library. Did you say Kana? Kanat, Kanat. Okay, so Kanat, uh, when we connect it, how would we connect it? Kanat, Talibatu. We know that kanat ta is sakin, and whenever we have a sakin and we connect it with al, we connect it with kasra. So kanat talibatu fil maktabati qabla qalilin. Okay, the students were in the library a while ago. Okay, now you have to. But I have a question on last page. Yes, sure, sure. Last page, sir. Hmm? Last the page. The first sentence, sir. Al, al mudiru fi gurfatihi. Mm -hmm. Sir, how we will write ha with the standing kasra or the normal one? You mean uh, gurfatihi? Yes. Uh, yeah, it will be al mudiru fi gurfatihi. Yeah, it will be sitting kasra that will be prolonged for two seconds. Sitting? Yes, yeah, sitting kasra, the the pro the prolonged one, not the normal kasra. You know this uh, normal kasra, not normal one, the longer one. Khadizay. Standing kasra. Khadizay. Yes. Why? Because who? If we have a dhamma before it, it will be prolonged as well. It will be who, and if we have kasra before it, it will be sitting kasra, which is khadizay. So ulta pesh and khadizir, if we have dhamma before it or kasra before it. But if it is sakin before there is something sakin before it, then it will be regular uh, kasra and regular dhamma. For example, min, who, fi, he. So when you say fi, we have ya sakina before it. So ha will be regular, only one kasra. 
it will be fihi. Similarly, when we say min hu, noon is sakim. So if we have sakim before hu, then no change will take place. All right. So can you please repeat this yeah, point. Okay. Who is a pronoun, right? The attached pronoun. So if we have sakin before it, sakin before it, any um, uh, letter or harf that is sakin before it, then the ending will be regular. For example, we say min, and we want to add who with it. So it will be min who. Who will be normal, regular. Why it will be regular? Because noon is second before it, right? Min who. Similarly, when we say fi, he, okay, after yani, who or after he, what do we have? Yeah, and ya is second, right? Fi, he. Yes, sir. So when ya is second, when we have second before it, uh, the dhamma and the kasra will be regular one. A normal page and normal there. If we have sakin before it, did you get it? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. E even if we have alif before it, again it will be normal. For example, aha who his brother. We will not prolong it. We will only prolong it when we have kasra or dhamma right before it. Right before it. For example, fi ghurfa ti. So he, we have here who, and it changes into he because we know that uh, it changes if there is a fatha or dhamma or kasra right before it. No, normally, it will take only dhamma or kasra. So if we have kasra before it, right before it, then it will be changed into long kasra. So we will say fi ghurfa ti he. Are there any example of the uh, standing fatha? What do you mean by standing? Mean ha khada zabar. Who? Like hair gur fatihi. Look, it will only come with dhamma or kasra. Okay. Either it will be who or it will be he. Okay. Okay. Got okay. it. Everyone clear, inshallah. And this, this one will please, help you a lot, especially memorizing the Quran, because sometimes when we don't know, really know that who will be prolonged or not. So it should help now that if we have Dhamma right before it, it will be prolonged for two seconds. And if it has Kasra right before it, it will be prolonged for two seconds. If we don't have fee here, if we say Ghurfatu, then it will be Ghurfatu. Yes. Who? Will we yes. prolong it or not? Prolong it because that is Dhamma. Dhamma, right. And if we have Kasra before it, it will, it will be Ghurfati. He. He. Okay. Mashallah, you ta'amal a lot. So ta'amal il amsilata. So reflect on the examples. Thumma iqra. اقرأ الجمل الآتية then read the following sentences ما ضبط الميم والحروف الساكنة ساكنة الأخرى by putting the meme and the, the second letters uh, just read it with the proper case endings of meme and حروف الساكنة that come right after that so meme basically we have to focus on the meme and the case ending of the meme and what do you remember about the case ending of the meme Normally it is sakin. But followed by connect... the was then yes. we'll... then but it will when be... connected, we will dhamma. dhamma. And when we dhamma. connect it with a pronoun, hmm? then we will also add wow as well. Hmm. Yes. Did you get it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Did you read this book? So Akaratumun Qurana. So as you can see here, the first one, this example, Aqra Tum Hadal Kitaba. After Meem, we have we don't have Hamzat al Wasl or we don't have Al, we only have Ha. So there is no need to add Dhamma. But here, Aqra Tum Al Qurana. So when we want to continue, then we have to connect Meem with Dhamma. Aqra Tum Al Qurana. Did you read or did you recite the Quran? Araitum Hamidan. Did you see Hamid? Araitum al mudarrisa. So as you can see here, araitum, and after that we have al. So we have to connect it with 
dhamma ara'aytumul mudarrisa alakum hadal bait okay what will be the ending of bait baiti baitu baitu why baiti and why baitu because it will be muqtada yes hadal baitu hadal baitu is muqtada and lakum is khabar alakum hadal baitu is this your house or does does this house belong to you and alakum al baitu so it will be do you have a house alakum al baitu do you have a house do you own a house kharajat aminatu amina left but we know that when we have kharajat and after that we have al we connect it with kasra kharajat al bintu this information is old mashallah we have discussed about it many times man had al waladu who is this boy and we know that the noon of man is sakin and when we connect it we will also connect it with kasra manil waladu who is the boy so this is what the sheikh is telling here that when we have sakin plus al equals kasra plus al so as we have discussed many times that normally we connect a sakin with kasra however when we connect mim with al we connect it with dhamma clear yes ustad once again okay please look at this example here example number 4 as you can see here are you able to see the screen or are you like following from the phone or from your book no sir see on the screen okay so number 4 as we can see here we have kharajat ta is sakin and after that we have al so whenever we connect a sakin with al we connect it with kasra that's the rule okay so every sakin will be connected with kasra with few exceptions however when we connect mim with al then we will connect mim with dhamma as you can see here alakum al baitu so lakum al baitu so when we have mim sakin when we connect it we connect it with dhamma did you get it yes wa alaykum as salam so we say wa alaykum mim sakin but when we want to connect it with al how do we connect it with dhamma so inshallah i hope we will not forget it now all right yes please continue akaltum al mawzu mawza mawza akaltum al mawza you ate banana or a banana akaltum you ate al mawza a banana sir i have a question sir mm -hmm. yes sir La last time, one time you told us that sometime mean will be connected with fatha mean like min allah not only noon 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 no not noon only min only min only min just min yeah I I I it came to my mind but I didn't want to confuse you. So man will follow the same pattern as it is manil waladu. Okay. But when it is min that is the only exception that connects with fatha. Okay. Yes number 2. Jalastum fil fasli. You sat in the classroom. Do we need to put dhamma? You got to say No. No. no no need no need okay the third one please continue dakhaltum al masjid dakhaltum al masjid you entered the masjid okay number 4 fahimtum al darsa fahimtum al darsa okay you understood the lesson okay okay number 5 fahimtum darsa al fiqh fahimtum dars al fiqhi okay you understood the lesson of jurisprudence okay number 6 sami'tum al adhana you listened to the adhan okay akaltum madha akaltum what did you eat okay akaltum 
Alakum, hi, is Yara too. Uh, is this your car? Does this car belong to you? Do you have a car? Okay, love. Alakumul Kitabu, is this your book? Again, again. Alakumul Kitabu. Kutubu. Kutubu. Kutubu, okay. Do you have the books? Okay. Man, Hada Rajulu, who is this man? Okay. Manil Fata. Manil Fata. Who is the boy? Okay. Yes. Katabate Talibata Dursa. Talibatu Dursa. Talibatu Dursa. Katabate Talibatu Adursa. The student wrote the lesson. Katabat is the verb. Talibatu is the subject. Adursa is the object. Now, katabat is sakin, so that's why we connect it with kasra. Ain al mudiratu. Where is the, the, the manager, the female manager? Yes, al an, because we can see al an, also there is al, okay? So kharajat al ana, and when we connect the sakin with al, it will be kharajatil ana. Okay, she can, left now. Can I ask uh, about uh, number 10? Number 10, uh, man yes. will be, we, will we take man as the subject? And Hada Rajulu as predicate. There are two schools of thoughts about it. So uh, some grammarians say that Hada Rajulu is subject and man is predicate. And also man can be subject and Hada Rajulu will be predicate. Both of them are okay. According to the grammarians, because all uh, Asma al Istifham, they are capable of being subject. Uh, even even the Hamza, like in Hamza, no, 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 Hamza and Hal, they are Huruf. Okay, apart from Hamza and Hal, okay. Yes. The nouns, uh, they can be uh, subject. Yeah, there are only two uh, Huruf or Harafa al Istifham. There are two letters of Istifham, A hal and Hal. Okay. They cannot be subject. And there are many uh, small istifham, like mata, like kaifa, like man, like yes. uh, anna. So most of them, they are capable of being subject. So they will be subject. Okay, Jazakallah Khair. Okay, so number eight, we have to reflect again. And we have discussed about this in the points, like when I gave you the handouts, it was mentioned over there. And even today I discussed about, we discussed about it today. So for example, daraba plus who, the, the pronoun of who, when we connect it with uh, fatha, it will take, it will be regular as it is daraba who. Basically now the rule will be applicable here. This is regular Arabic as we can see here. So it's not written as the extended dhamma or we say the reverted dhamma. It's, but in the Quran, you will see that it will be reverted dhamma, yani ulta pesh, darabahu. Why it will be a reverted dhamma or the longer dhamma? Because we have fatha before it. Letters. Yes. <laughs> but as we can see here, darabat plus who. So here it will not be prolonged because before this we have sakin, darabat, darabat who. Okay, what will be the translation, by the way? Darabahu. He hit him. He hit him, he hit okay. Him. Darabat who? She hit him. Okay. Or it. Yeah, it can be it and him as well, yeah. Okay, darabta plus who? So it's the same, darabta who? And darabti plus who? It is darabti he. This is regular Arabic. So normally the Arab, uh, in, in everyday Arabic or the regular Arabic, we don't really have to follow the rules of the Tajweed. But when we are reciting the Quran, then of course it will be Darabtahu and Darabtihi. Okay, Darabtu plus who? Darabtuhu, I hit him. Okay. Okay, Darabtahu, how will you translate it? You hit him. You hit him. And Darabti he. You and. You feminine hit him. 
and darabtuhu, I hit him. I okay. Hit him. Now, can you see the ending of who? Sometimes it becomes kasra as well. And uh, as we discussed earlier, that when we have kasra before it, and when we have kasra right before it, then it will change into kasra. But as we can see here, darabtum plus who, darabtum, the then we have who. to add wow plus who because we know that darabtum who, it's not even like when you read it, it doesn't make sense, darabtum who. So it changes into darabtumuhu. So whenever we change or whenever we connect uh, meme sakin with the, pro, with the attached pronouns, then we have to add alif as well. The alif, uh, sorry, uh, the wow has to be added. I'm sorry. So wow has to be added. Darabtumuhu, qataltumuhu, ra'aytumuhu. So the verbs that you have learned. And you cannot only use with who, you can use them with all the attached pronouns. For example, you all, can you all men, uh, saw her. So similarly, uh, uh, and we know that the object comes only for the for the verbs that need object. For example, the fail mutadi, an intransitive verb. Transitive verbs they don't need the object or they don't need the attached pronoun. For example, rahaba. Can we use who after that? Rahaba who? No. no, sir. No, because it is al uh, lazim and it does not need object. So that's why. And we don't need to use or we don't need to connect it with the attached pronoun. However, we can attach it with a preposition. We will ensure that talk about this later. Where are the where is the new student? So did you all see him? Where is the snake? As we discussed here, that we can either have who or we can have ha. Uh, did you kill it? This is an easy lesson. Did you understand it? Where are the teachers? Did you see them? Uh, can you please repeat uh, what, uh, what you said in number two? Uh, we can use hi and who both because uh, hi, it's hiya, I mean, not a regular feminine. Is that it? It ends with tamar guta, we can see. So hiyata is feminine. Yes. So we will, we will only use ha. Ha for the snake, yes. If it's uh, thaban, which is like uh, the bigger one, as the ha, as we say. So for that, of course, we will say akatal to muhu. But hiyata is the small snake and it has tamar guta. So because of Tamar Buta, we know that this is feminine. All right. I think now you can complete this exercise quickly now. I know oh, Irfan um, wants to leave. So I don't know if you want to continue. I'm not left yet, sir. I know, but I said you want to, maybe. I am ready since 7.10, seven, seven, sir. Okay, excellent. Eight or seven, okay. Ready to leave. Okay, ra'aytum plus hum. So how would we Ra'aytum connect it? With wow. Ra'aytum, with wow. Ra'aytum, with wow. Ra'aytum, with wow. Ra'aytum, with wow. The first one. So you all saw them. Okay. Number two. For him to for him to you move, uh, understood that that or it yes okay next one wasaltihi okay wasalti it okay she washed it okay uh, okay no you you you, you feminine you feminine washed it okay wajattu plus who wajattu wajattu who i found it I found it. Okay. Pataltum plus ha. Pataltum. Wow. Pataltumuha. Excellent. Sameatumuha. Sameatumuhu. Who? Excellent. Sameatumuhu. You all listen to it. 
I thought we could complete it today, but it seems uh, we will. Whereas uh, I think we don't need to complete it all because the next okay. lesson, by the way, uh, you will do it by yourselves. I will not help you. And inshallah, I'm quite sure that you are quite capable of doing it by yourselves. Lesson number eight, before you inshallah come or before we start our class on Sunday, please try to go through this lesson. Uh, we might not need to do it at all because you have already completed it. So we will inshallah complete the rest of the exercises, of course, for lesson number se uh, seven. However, lesson number eight, if you got some time on the weekend, please try to do it by yourselves. And inshallah, I'm quite sure that you can do it. So the lesson number eight is almost what we have learned earlier. Exactly. It is exactly what we have learned earlier. All right. And inshallah, I tried my best to give you everything before we reach uh, lesson number eight. So you should be able to do it by yourselves. And I sent you the conjugation of vanna. Please try to use that. Vanna, uh, that, that is a quite simple one that is similar to vahaba. And then inshallah, we will continue with uh, one or two more and that's it. Any questions? So uh, with Zanna, uh, the the other words that you gave, Farah and Oradda, the sixth form will be Fararna and Radadna. Radadna, right? that's right. Because what happens, the Adhram continues up to the form number five. In the sixth form, the, uh, the Adhram, Adhram breaks. And then it becomes the regular form. So mararna, so the ra comes back because what happens over there, we have three letters which are quite different or we, we, the ram is only for two letters. If we have more than two, then there will be no ram. We will not merge them. Okay. So mararna, we have three uh, ra ra three times over there. So there is no need to merge it. Okay. Marar, because, so, because the, it has a one and uh, so it yeah. already had like it it merged with the the known of uh, Nisfa. No, no, Nisfa, that's right. So that's why. So the three verbs are very they are used a lot in the Quran and we use them a, lo a lot. One is Radda. So when you reach to the sixth one, you will say Radda dena. Similarly, Mararna. And there is one more, I don't know. It shouldn't be Faran, by the way. Faranna. Faranna, right? Yes. Okay. So please try to write them down. It will really help you a lot. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum as-salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum as-salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.